Good morning. So it's the next day. This morning I came into the room where Simon is living and he actually came out and he was friendly and great. Uh, and then I came back a little while later and he didn't come out to see me. So I'll turn on the light, make it a little brighter in here. So hopefully, um, hopefully he will he'll come out and because I have some medicine for him, medicine for uh, his upper respiratory infection. So many of the fosters I've had so far have had the same thing. Like they're, they're wheezing and they're sneezing. And so we tried this medication. I don't remember what the name was, but it did nothing. So now he's on Doxy, which is short for something. I don't know what it's short for, um, but it's powerful because it's uh, it, it just a little tiny bit of a dose. It's like half of a 0.1 ml every day for seven days. First dose was twice that, like, so 0.1 for the first dose. Um, so I did notice that Simon is like many of my other fosters that don't like, now please don't, don't, don't hurt me Petco, but the tuna from the Whole Hearted brand. I generally like the Whole Hearted because it's grain free and it's, I hate to say this, but it's like maybe the better of the cheap stuff. Um, it's just, fostering cats is so expensive and I just can't spend, you know, a dollar eighty two dollars for a can when I've got all these cats eating, you know, four to six cans a day. It's just huge. So anyways, so I know where he is. I know he's under here. Simon, come here, baby. Come on, Simon. Come here, baby. Oh, there he is. I don't know if you can see him. Hi, baby. Come here, Simon. All right, that's good. Cause he's um he he'll come out. Come on, Simon. You can do it. Come here, Simon. Psh, 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 psh. Come here. Come on, pretty boy. Maybe you don't want to call him that. Maybe that'll give him some kind of complex. Anyways, he will come out. Right? Are you gonna come out? Scared of my phone. Come on, Simon. Come on, Simon. The world wants to meet you. Come here, Simon. But that's better because at least he's sort of out in the open. When I came to him earlier, he was hiding behind one of those boxes. So I do want to um, ask for forgiveness for the way that this room looks. Um, it hasn't been thoroughly cleaned in a few weeks. Um, the cleaning lady is coming tomorrow and she's going to clean this room. So thank you. Thank, thank goodness. Okay. Hi, Simon. Come here, baby. Come here. You know you want to come and say hi. Come on. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, my goodness. I spend so much of my time doing exactly this. Um, trying to socialize the cat, trying to get them friendlier so that when they're ready to be adopted, you know, they're, they're in the best place possible. Simon is old enough to be adopted, but um, all of our fosters need to be uh, quarantined for two weeks. And during that time or shortly after, they will get their um, combo test. And because Simon's, Simon's siblings were caught before him, they were combo tested, but Simon was out in the the world for an extra week, so he will have to be combo tested, and that will make sure that he is not um, does not have feline leukemia or the other um, feline disease that's not savory and cannot. He, so he would not be able to be with other cats. I have not had one cat test positive yet for that combo test. Thank goodness, because that would be very sad. Hi, Simon. You're not going to come out, are you? You're going to make me a liar. Well, well, then how are, are people going to see you? I don't know. I don't know. Hi, baby. I think the phone is freaking him out. Um, yeah, so, you know, welcome to the world of spending a lot of time and energy in trying to help these cats. They don't quite get how much we work for them, but we do it because we love them. And 
For a long time, I had not had cats and I forgot how much I really do like them. Cats are, they, they, they just have all this love to give, but on their terms. And they're fun to watch. They, they play and they, they run around and they're so curious. And, you know, dogs, I love dogs. Dogs will probably always be my first love in that they, they, they just want to be with you. They will do everything for you. And then you've got cats who are like, I'll do what I want for you, when I want, and how much I want, and feed me. Dogs would be like, if you feed me, I'll, I'll be even happier. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I think Simon is not going to come out. So hopefully later on, I do have his medicine. I have his, um, his syringe waiting for him with a very, very small amount of doxy. Um, I have become a very good scruffer because you have to learn to scruff. Believe me, if you're going to foster, you got to scruff. First time I tried to give medicine without scruffing, I don't think there was an inch of my body that did not have a scratch on it. Okay, I know that's, that's, that's being, yeah, not quite that bad, but definitely learn to scruff. Okay, so I'll... Turn this off for now, and hopefully next time you'll get to meet Simon. Bye.